and Shepard Clark here in the men's short program. And on the ice right now, 24-year-old John Baldwin Jr., his fifth trip to the Senior Nationals. And he finished 13th a year ago. His dad told me last night his dad coaches him and he said this triple axel has become a lot more consistent this year and he hardly ever misses him in practice. His father one of his coaches. Well here it is. Come on to that one. He Little did forward, it. Did it. Yeah. Again he was a skater that did not step up into that jump. I always wonder how they can get the revolution and the, the height necessary to do the revolution without that step up. You, Brian, step up better than anybody. Thanks, Dick. <laughs> it was a lie. <laughs> nice position there. He's already got to be happy with this. He had a real tough skate last year at the national championships, I think, missing a lot of things and actually stopping because he knocked himself out a little bit. These circular step, that means steps in a circular pattern, are one of the required elements. Two step combination sequences, but of a different nature, either straight line, circular, or in the serpentine form, are required as two of the eight elements. Again, very nice positions through that combination. And this back cross position. Very interesting. Now he has one final jump left, this double axle. Remember that is truly a difficult jump because of the forward edge. That forward edge can go left, right, or straight ahead at the least, at the last possible notice and can leave you flat on your back without any warning. He missed the music on the end of that, it seems. The rest of the program kind of with it. Much more pleased this year, though, after the short program than he was a year ago. Oh, he's got to be. Yeah, 13th well, last some, year in Nashville. Some good moves there. John Baldwin, Jr. And coming up next, two-time U.S. champion Scott Davis takes the ice. Back in Philadelphia, Terry Gannon, Brian Boitano, Dick Button, and Leslie Visher at the State Farm U.S. Figure Skating Championships. John Baldwin Jr., along with his coaches, who are also his parents, Donna and John Sr. The required element marks 4.8 up to 5.2. And not bad, you know. They're not bad at all. 5.3. 13th a year ago in Nashville. He looked up at the scoreboard. That's what it said. He said, it's got to be better than that after that performance. And I think it probably will. The presentation marks 4.9 up to 5.4. Well, it's nice to see him skate well. It's always encouraging. And in sixth place in terms of those that have skated. 